Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. Today is Thursday, the 13th of March, 2025. And uh, I'm still putting my truck back together. It didn't break down. I, I ran into an issue, and uh, I've been working on it for almost two weeks. But she's just about ready to go again, hopefully. I broke some stuff really bad. It was an accident. That's all it was. It wasn't even four-wheeling or anything. It was just... just it just sucked, that's all. It just really sucked. So, I'm staying in my buddy's shop, as you can see right here. And uh, I need to make a video because mixing iron with clay is something that we see in the Bible. Am I wrong? And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave to one another even as iron is not mixed with clay. That makes sense, right? It makes sense. If you've ever built anything, you understand that you can't get clay and iron to join each other. You can stick clay on iron, and it'll stick until somebody hits it with a hammer or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Well, <clears throat> we've already got Stargate. We've already got AI. We've already got robots. We've already got D-Wave. We've already got all sorts of crazy computers going on. And then this shows up. This is literally the definition of iron mixed with clay. A computer that's run off of blood cells and skin cells of humans turned into stem cells and it powers the computer. I never heard of such a thing till about three days ago. This is insane and it's available. This is the world's first commercial biological computer running on living human cells. The CL1 computer is the brainchild of Melbourne-based Cortical Labs. This is where the neurons uh, would be embedded in. CEO and founder Han Wang Chong says it fuses cell-derived neurons with silicon, creating a new class of AI known as synthetic biological intelligence. Unlike using artificial neural networks, we grow real biological neurons into networks onto computer chips. It sounds like science fiction, but Han says the CL1 is capable of learning and adapting faster than standard silicon-based AI, while consuming significantly less energy. We take blood or skin, and we can transform them into stem cells, and from stem cells into brain cells or neurons that we then uh, use them for compute and uh, intelligence. Han says the neurons grow on silicon chip with tiny electrical contacts connecting them to the digital hardware. And it's equipped with an artificial life support system to keep the cells healthy. We have pumps like the heart, uh, waste feeding reservoirs, uh, filtration units like the kidneys, and we have a gas mixer to take carbon dioxide, oxygen uh, and nitrogen. Han says the CL1 could revolutionize drug testing and personalize medicine. With this kind of technology, we potentially could grow um, neurons taken from patients with, say, uh, a dementia or with epilepsy and test compounds and drugs that would then be personalized and tailored to that patient. But Han believes the CL1's potential doesn't end there, saying it could usher in a new age of AI. In the short term is we can use it for life sciences, for personalized medicine, for drug discovery and development. But the longer term vision of the company here is to pioneer a new form of computing where we can actually use these neurons that can process information with much quicker speed, with much less data and with much more energy efficiency so that we can get to intelligence but without the significant costs associated with it. CL1 computers are destined for laboratories and research facilities capable of cultivating their own cells. They'll be manufactured to order and ready to ship later this year. Okay, I followed D-Wave, I followed AI, I followed quantum computing, I followed a every type of computing, and I've never once heard of that company till about a week ago. They just popped up out of nowhere. Do you understand what this is? This is literally cleaving iron to clay. And they use blood and, and human skin. And this thing, did you hear what he said? This thing has a support system. The computer actually has kidneys and a waste. It creates waste. It poops. 
Are you kidding me? Like, what are we doing here? This is entirely insane. And exactly like everything else, what's the excuse? Well, first of all, it's $35,000, but they're available. That's insane to me. Never heard of them, but here we go. Second of all, it's the exact same thing that Elon Musk says. You know what I'm saying? It's the exact same thing. It'll help people that can't walk. People that, They don't care about people that can't walk. Half the people that have any type of a malady that messes with their speech, their vision, their hearing, their ability to walk, talk, move, and, or anything are usually people that have been hit with vaccines. Do you see what I'm saying? Vaccines cause half of the medical issues on earth. And they're not going to cure them ever. But it's all they ever talk about. All they ever talk about. So I find this insane. Real quick, listen to this. Get your money out of the bank. It's all I can possibly tell you. They're going to take your 401ks. They're going to take your IRAs, turn it into gold and silver, and have it sent to your house. These guys will match you up to 10%. Whatever amount you put in, they'll give you 10% in free silver. And they've already done it too. At least three, four, five hundred people that I can attest for. That's not a great number. About 250. Let's call it that. Get your money out of the bank because Trump is turning everything over to digital currency. I explained that in the last video when I showed it to you everywhere. Any real e e economy channels, truth channels, channels that are awake, channels that know what the NWO is are all freaking out because you got these guys doing these hedge funds and short selling and all this other stuff. It's always something they do before a massive event. They got to take out the banks. They have to get everybody on the social credit system. And in order to do that, they got to do their great reset. And they're going to. Now, back to this. It's just built a computer powered by living human brain cells. And it learns faster than any AI chip out there. It doesn't even need a traditional computer to run. This isn't sci-fi, it's real, it's on the market, and the craziest part, you can actually buy one. <laughs> Let's talk about it. All right, now, I know biological computer sounds pretty wild. We're talking about a computer made partly out of living human brain cells, actual living neurons, plus silicon hardware, working together to form what they're calling synthetic biological intelligence. This new form of AI, or SBI for short, is not just some sci-fi concept. It's real, and it's been officially launched. Vertical Labs revealed the CL1 at an event in Barcelona on March 2nd, 2025, and they say it's going to revolutionize everything from drug discovery to disease modeling to how we might build future robotics and automation systems. So how does it work exactly? The idea is that these neurons, which are grown in the lab from induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs, can be placed on something like a silicon chip that has electrodes laid out in a grid. In the CL1 setup, there are 59 electrodes forming a sort of playground for these neurons to grow and form connections. Cortical Labs calls it a body in a box. It has its own life support system so the cells can thrive, filtration, pumps, temperature control, gas mixing, basically an entire environment to keep the neurons healthy. This is then connected to software that reads and writes signals to the neurons in real time. Because these brain cells thrive on predictable signals, they're basically searching for energy efficient ways to respond, the system can reward them for doing something right and punish them for doing something wrong. Cortical's earlier research published in the journal Neuron showed that with the right stimulus, these cultured neurons learned how to play the classic arcade game Pong. The researchers would send electrical signals to tell the cells where the paddle was and the cells would respond. If the virtual ball was missed, a random chaotic signal was sent back which the cells didn't like. If they hit the ball, the signal was more predictable. So over time, the neurons got better at Pong. That so you see what I'm saying? This is utterly, totally, completely insane this is insanity we've gone from ai ai robots to now ai that's got a digestive system it's learning and it's made of blood human blood who do you think's blood that might be well let's go over here to a website called child watch of north america and an estimated eight hundred thousand children are reported missing each year more than 2,000 children every day. An estimated 1 in 5 and 1 in 10 boys will be sexually victimized before the age of 18. Yet only 1 in 3 will tell anyone. 800,000 children go missing in the United States a year. Well, let's do the math. Divided by 50 states equals 16,000 children go missing in every state every year. If... 16,000 children organically disappeared. Every once in a while, not once, but more than once, the odds are you would stumble across the bones of a dead child. 
a couple few times in your lifetime, especially people like myself that go out into the woods and out way out into the outback and we poke around and nose around. 800,000 little people go missing every single solitary year. How come that's not on the news every single solitary day? And then you discover that all these people that are multi-millionaires, billionaires, superstars, famous people, all of them end up at some point getting thrown to the wolves and ratted out for doing this stuff. This is what they do. All the people that are in charge of our government, and I'm talking all of them are in on this. Don't be fooled. Do not be fooled in any way whatsoever at all. And here's the problem. A lot of people still want to have faith in Trump because he's making moves. He just reenacted the alien order. What is it called? Stand by. Trump just invoked the Wartime Aliens Enemies Act of 1798 to fast-track deportation of illegal aliens. And you know why he did that? I guarantee it gives them more power over us. Not the illegal aliens, okay? Everything they do gives them more power. Trump is bringing in the New World Order. There will be a great reset, and their D-Day is July of this year. They are going to smoke the banks one way or the other. And every time you turn around, there's a new storm. It's snowing in California. Meanwhile, the Carolinas are on fire. New York's on fire. And let's not forget about this. Green flames coming out of a manhole in Texas. Green fire. What does that even mean? Like, seriously, what does that even mean? The only conclusion I can draw is that somehow they're messing around underground working on their Operation Stargate that is out in Texas, and so, somehow something got away. Something got away. Because I was a plumber for 20 years. One of my tools was fire. I've made fire from this big to this big. And I've never actually seen green fire. I know that it needs a lot of borium, and it needs a lot of copper in order to be green like that. But this fire was no joke because the manhole cover flipped off, green flames going everywhere. Things are going on. These guys are making crazy moves right now. And now we've got AI computers that are available that are literally made of skin and blood and have their own digestive system. What does that even mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, what does that even mean? I, haven't, I don't have a clue. But it ain't good. It isn't good whatsoever at all. But of course, it's to help people. It's going to help people. Having a computer that's half made out of a human is going to help people that can't walk, talk, see, or read. It sounds like RFK, doesn't it? Except the problem with RFK is he's on Trump's team and he's one of them. The guy that's against this, that, and the other thing has completely flipped on mRNAs. You see what I'm saying? Now, according to him, well, we can get you a special mRNA vaccine and it'll cure cancer and it'll cure this and it'll cure that. I ain't curing nothing, man. I ain't listening to anything any of these people say. They say the same thing every single solitary time and every one of them makes hundreds of millions of dollars off it. It's unbelievable. It's criminal, but the problem is the criminals make the laws. Isn't that perfect, man? Isn't that perfect? I owe the IRS $13,000. I didn't pay it for our two months, it went up to 27 million, 27,000, I'm sorry. That's extortion. That's insane. Utterly insane. I was like, I'll deal with it when I get home. I didn't have time to. I didn't have time. I couldn't have waited another month. It's insane how these guys are doing things right now. And they get away with absolutely, absolutely everything. So at any rate, I don't know if that's, I think that might, uh, you know what, hold on. One, check this video out if you haven't yet. I put this video up on uh, Jailbreak Overlander yesterday. EMP, mystery drone attacks, and war with China over tariffs. You might want to watch it or not. Your call. At any rate. I think that's all I got for now because I'm tired. I got to get to sleep. The guys come in the shop at 6 in the morning, so I got to be up before them. Unbelievable. What a life, right? At any rate. Richie from Boston. And for now. I'm out.